Assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel code city in today's video we are going to see that how can we implement a simple get request in flutter but before i start if you haven't joined my facebook group then please go and join my facebook group so you can ask any query related to flutter in that group you can find the link of this group in the description section Furthermore, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. So let's start our topic. So first, let's create a simple layout for our application. So I already created a new project in Flutter. So go to the main.dart file and remove all the auto-generated code. And then import our material class Flutter material.dart then create a main method main run app my app then let's create our my app widget and this will be a stateless widget stateless my app and in the build method remove this container and just return material app widget and in this widget we have a property of home and in home just return home screen widget so let's create our home screen widget go to the lib folder right click new file and name this file home underscore screen dot dart so now in that file import material dot dart file flutter material dot dart and this will be a stateful widget so create a stateful widget home screen so now in the build method uh, we are going to return scaffold widget and scaffold let's create an app bar app bar and in app bar we have a property of title and it will take a widget so we are going to create a text widget and this will be an HTTP get request now in our body so uh, in our body we are going to show a list view so let's create a list view list view dot builder so in the list view dot builder we have a property of item builder and this will take a function so build context context this function have two parameters first one is the build context and another one is the int index and in our list view dot builder we have another property that is called item count while this property will decide that how many times our this callback function this item builder function will be called so for now we are going to call this function only one time so let pass one in this parameter and now in our item builder uh, callback function we are going to return cart and in the card we have a child and the child will be expansion tile widget and the title will be a text and that text will be for now for now we are going to just hard code this one http request and we have another property of children and in children create another text widget and just put testing in there so now let's import this file in our main file and then hot restart our application so this is the layout that we are going to use in this tutorial now let's start the implementation of calling api so first let me show you the api that i'm using so this is the api and this is the response that i'm getting from this api so to call this api there is a package called http package so we are going to use this package to call this api so to use that package go to the installing tab 
and just copy this command and after that just run this command in the terminal section now after that as you see that in my pubspec.yml file the http package is now imported so now we are able to use this package so to use this package first we need to import a class called http.dart file so for this just write import http http.dart s http now after that we are going to create a method and that method will be future void get data and this is an async function so just write async and in that method first we are going to create a variable of a URI so URI URL is equal to URI dot HTTP so the URI class uh, provide us uh, two methods the first one is the HTTP and the second one is the HTTPS so the API that we are going to use is an HTTPS based so we are going to use the HTTPS method and in that method this will require two parameter the first one will be this the json placeholder dot type i code dot com and the second one will be the slash post so after that the http package provide us a class called response so just use this class http response res is equal to and the http package also provide a method called get method so just use this method dot get and in that method just pass this url and this is an async function so we need to write a wait keyword there now after that first we are going to show the response of the api in the console so for that just use print res dot body now we are going to call this method in our init function so first we need to override our init function init and just call this method there now we have to hot restart our application now in the console uh, as you see that I'm getting the response from that API so now we will going to show this response in our application so for that first we need a data model class and the easy way the quick way to get this class is just copy this response and go to the google.com and just write json to dart and go to the first link and just copy this response in that section after that just give the class name I'm going to give that class data model name and just click generate dart so as you see that uh, this website gives me the dart code of my JSON response so just copy this code and in the editor create a new class new file data model dot dart and paste all the code in that file now import this file in our home screen class import data model now create an instance of our data model class data model model but as you see in our uh, response the response that we are getting from this api it is the list of objects so that is a list and in that list we are getting a multiple json object so this variable will be our list of data model So before using this variable uh, this resource.body returns me the response in the form of a string 
so first we need to parse this response into json so to do that dart provide us a class called convert and by using that class we are parse this string into json so import another class import convert as cnv and then create another variable and this variable will be a list of dynamic because the response the, uh, that we are getting from the API is the list of multiple objects so dynamic body is equal to cnv dot json decode so with the help of this method json decode method we are going to parse our string response into json so just pass res dot body in this now after that we have to map this list to our data model class so for that just call this variable model is equal to body dot map and in there we have dynamic item and then we have data model dot from json and just pass item there and call to list so with the help of this we are basically map our list to our data model class and then just call set state method now we are going to display this response into our application so for that first go to this item count property and remove this one and write model dot length and in our title we are going to show this title now so just replace this with model index dot title and in this children in this text field we are going to show this body text so replace this testing with model index dot body now let's create a circular indicator well this indicator keep on running until the api calls the data so for that first we need to check if model if model is equal to null then we are going to show a circular indicator in the center of the screen circular progress indicator else we are going to show the data on the screen now let's hot restart our application and as you see the circular indicator and now I will get the data from the API so this is the title and this is the body that I'm getting from this API so this is the way to call the API in flutter so if you have any query related to this you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me in my Facebook group if you haven't joined my Facebook group yet so please go and join my group and also if you haven't subscribed my channel then please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates so that's it for today's video. I will see you in my next video. Thank you.